I say the side comments. <laughs> what what comes to my mind? What? Smoking cigars and making some interviews. People expect nothing less from me, so that's the way I gotta do it. El Mary, introduce yourself, please. Hi, I'm El Mary. I ride the top hill bike. I'm the youngest rider. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, by far, I would imagine, right? Yeah. 30 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old are you? 22. 22. And you ride this motorcycle. Yep. Yeah. Uh, which your dad built. Yep. Yeah. Designed and built. Uh, so tell me about riding this motorcycle. It's amazing. It's a thrill. Yeah, I yeah. bet, right? Yeah. Tell me about the first time that you sat on this and the nitro fumes were coming at you. What was that like? Amazing. A little bit scary, but amazing. Yeah. yeah. And it's time to crack the throttle. Yeah. What, what, what's running through your mind? Pretty much nothing I have, I have seen. My dad and all the other riders do it so many times. Mm -hmm. I knew how to do it, but like, it's my time to do it. It's, it's a little bit hard. But, you know, I cranked the throttle and it was all right. All right. So um, now you've made how many how many full passes on the motorcycle? Uh, I don't know about full passes, like quarter mile, maybe mm -hmm. quarter mile, let's say 10. Mm -hmm. Eight mile passes, 40, mm -hmm. something like that. Only 1,000 feet, the uh, Chicago race. Right. So, like, right. let's say 60 passes total. All right, Chicago. You you beat Larry McBride, the the all-time legend of uh, the sport. Uh, what did that feel like? Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. What do you say to you at the end of the track? Uh, well, it was normal, you know, like good race and stuff like that. We were like I apologize for him to shake his, I mean, smoke his tire and. Yeah. I wish it was a real race and you know beat him by racing but racing can sometimes smoke the tires and you know sure yeah. sure I mean that'll happen to you too right yeah. and in fact uh, you go to the final and you go to start the bike and what happened there I made the burnout <clears throat> and uh, after the burnout I saw fuel leak on the on the nitro side so mm -hmm. we had to st uh, shut down the bike and that's it was a sad moment. Yeah, I bet. Uh, was that a substantial fuel leak or something you think you could have gotten by with? Well, <laughs> it, was, it was because we had uh, in the semi semifinals uh, our uh, head bomb uh, on the front head it jumped, so we had to change the bolts. Mm -hmm. So and somebody forgot to tighten it down. Yeah. Correctly. All right. so, Whose fault was that? We can know. We can't know. <laughs> and this is this is going to be a downer. But you leave Oklahoma City, uh, which is where the bike was was um, residing at the time, yeah. to go to um, uh, Virginia for the next race on the schedule. It's still dark in the morning, right? Yeah. And then what happened? We had a crash. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. But uh, you'd pull off to the side of the road. Yeah. To, the trailer had come unhooked on a, on a bump, I guess. Yes. And, uh, and then you're the, you and Ari, your, your crewmate, yes. am I saying that correctly, yes. Ari? Uh, you're between the truck and the trailer, but I guess he's really between the truck and yeah. the trailer. I, I, I can't really remember where we were. We were, we were pretty close to each other. We were between the trailer and truck, both of us. I, I can't really say where we were. I don't remember. So, and Husky well, he was, was behind the, behind the trailer, but there was nothing he could have done. No, right. You all just out of nowhere were rear-ended by a semi or yeah. caught the corner of the trailer or whatever. Um, crushed Ari pretty good. Lost yes. his leg. You're thrown off into the, the weeds somewhere, and uh, 
and a, uh, just a terrible, terrible story, terrible scene. It must have been incredibly scary for everybody. Yes. Uh, how's he doing? He's back in Finland. He's doing all right. He wanted to everybody know that he wanted to come here, but they have to, they have to do a, another surgery on his leg, otherwise he would be here with us now. Okay. So he wanted to everybody just know that that he's he doesn't he didn't quit the racing or crewing or anything. Sure. Yeah, he will be back. Yeah, all right, very good. Uh, so, uh, but his wife's probably glad to have him home for a yeah, little while. Probably, yes. He was he was away for a while. Yeah. Um, and a lot to get used to for sure. Um, so this weekend you're going to Brainerd, uh, yes. Minnesota, which is probably a little bit closer to Finland in terms of uh, latitude, right? Yeah, correct. Um. And uh, you're for the for another top fuel motorcycle race. Um, what what are your thoughts on the weekend? Coming weekend. I hope it goes good. Everybody makes nice passes. It's gonna be a good show. You know, just a normal race. And I hope we do good. The bike is. We have started the bike a couple of times now, and it runs good, sounds good. So I hope it runs good as well. Right. And that's what you're here doing. You all, we're here at Johnny Lindbergh's shop in uh, Brownsburg, Indiana. You all had to do a lot of cleaning up of the bike. Uh, yeah. it apparently, it was just left outside in a junkyard. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, so you had to clean it up. You you got here on Wednesday, worked to clean it up. I got here on Saturday. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And you had uh, you all had a burn up box yeah. that you had to drive to Michigan to to get a replacement. Correct. So that put you all a couple of days probably behind on, yeah. on where you would be, but uh, you're there and you're catching up now. We've started the bike what four times today? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, four times today, and uh, each time finding a little this, a little that to tweak, make better. Better here than up in Brainerd, yeah. right? It's always better to start the bike here. If there's something with the bike, you can fix it here. Mm -hmm. There are there are some tools here that you don't have on the track. So true enough. This place is loaded with tools. Yeah. Are you looking forward to riding with your dad all the way from here to Brainerd? Um, it's gonna be interesting. I. I'm glad Hanski's with us, so okay, we don't right. have to go. <laughs> Just me and him. No, I love my dad. He's he's amazing. Yeah, yeah, he is. So Hanski gets in on Wednesday, right? Is no, that right? tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. All right. So Tuesday. I'll miss him. Tell him I said hey. Yeah. And uh, 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 I don't know. Have you have you, have you talked over like kind of performances you're all expecting uh, this weekend? We just hope the bike runs runs good. Maybe some pores this time. Mm -hmm. We have made some upgrades, so mm -hmm. let's hope they they prove themselves. Right. Um. So in your when you're not uh, when you're not riding this top fuel motorcycle, uh, what do you do? Well, now I'm on a summer break, mm -hmm. so I'm just enjoying my life and mm -hmm. working on the other bike on the shop back in home. And my school is gonna start late this month, so after that I'm just gonna spend my time on school and learn something, hopefully. And that's engineering? Yeah. Alright, very good. And uh, you spent uh, how many months in Mexico? I'm, I spent two months, ah, uh, not two, four months mm -hmm. in Mexico. It was last year? Mm -hmm. Yeah, start of last year. Was it was nice. Uh, doing like power plant servicing, yeah. correct? No servicing, building one. Building. Yeah. All right. Very good. Um, and that's through a company based in Finland. Yeah. Is that correct. Yeah. And uh, what was the name of that company again? Bertsila. All right. Of course. And I work for SPTR. That's one of our sponsors. So I work through them, and okay. they work for Bertsila. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now. Um, it was really the rest of the season was really up and doubt uh, just a few weeks ago um, 
What happened? Who jumped in to save the save the season for you guys? Well, he's the guy who is coming here, uh, not here, but Brainard. He's one of my dad's oldest friends, not oldest, but old friend, and um, he's he, he always wanted to be part of the team, and his dream is to run run a funny car someday. And, oh yeah. Yeah. So he wanted to be part of the team, and he's he owns a metal scrap you know, recycling company, mm -hmm. and he wanted to jump in financially as well as crewing for the bike, so mm -hmm. I like the guy, Canon Romu is the, is the company. What's, uh, what's, his, what's his name? Uh, we call him Lama. Lama? Yes. All right. He's a nice guy. Yeah, well, clearly. Um, and uh, what's the name of his company again? Canon Romu. Of course. Uh, <laughs> it's a Finnish company. Yes. All right, well, that'll be cool. That's going to be good. Uh, it's going to be fun uh, for him and yeah. for you all. Uh, when does he get to... Br oh, he comes... He comes to straight to Brainerd. So okay. I think he will be there Wednesday evening. Okay. And uh, is that putting a little extra pressure on you all to perform this no, weekend? I no, don't, I don't think so. He's He has been on the track. He knows who we are. Yeah. We have been knowing him. Yeah. So, not so. Right. All right. I think so. Uh, anything else here that I'm missing? Uh, I don't think so. Clearly, you're all, uh, in addition to um, help from your friends, uh, you've got uh, some support from Fuel Tech. Uh, are there any other sponsors that you should mention? No. Fuel Tech is the only one we're missing here. Gotcha. I don't know how to, how to talk know. about fuel deck in this situation. They, obviously they helped us and uh, they gave us um, a lot of parts for the next two bikes that we are building to mm -hmm. bring here. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank them for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, they've been very helpful. Like if we have uh, some upgrade we want to do on the fuel deck, they have been helping with that. Mm -hmm. They're very, very open with this nitromethane thing with fuel tech because they don't have a lot of people using it. So we've been going. So back hopefully, and it's forth. a big growth market for them yeah. in, in two wheels and, and four. I, and I, I've been messaging with Luis. Hopefully, he comes to Brainerd, and it would right. be cool if he comes. And he's trying to come. So, so um, you are building more bikes, and uh, what, what? Uh, what do you say to anybody who who thinks that they, uh, if they if they have it in their mind that they'd like to uh, ride a top fuel motorcycle? What's your what's your advice? Mm, I don't know what advice I would give. It's it's pretty. How about encouragement? What kind of encouragement would you give them? Well, it's it, it's very hard for make that first pull on bike like this. But after that, it gets easier on every pass when you make make another pass. But it's it's it gets easier over time. And you went from a 900 cc street bike to this, is that yeah. correct? What, what what bike was it you were riding? A uh, Sportster, stock okay. one. Okay, all right. Junior bike. Yeah, 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 yeah. Straight to this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh Gaska. I'm not available. What would what would what would you what would you like to add to this uh, to this uh, to this conversation here? Yeah. I have to go, Glad we got. I have to go to washing my face and you know. The oh, you're pretty. Uh, you're your makeup. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Uh, what, uh... But I don't speak English, you have to remember. You speak English, it's just, uh, it's an I accented speak English. English. Finglish, yes, yeah. alright. Um, how do you feel about, uh, the motorcycle and its preparedness for this weekend? You feel pretty good? It's working like Swiss watch. Yep. Yeah. Swiss watch. Uh, Johnny, uh, what's it like been here with Johnny for the last week? It's like a home this summer, this... It's like a summer in home, and, and uh, Johnny is the Scandinavian guy, and he understands that our Scandinavian jokes and yeah. our mentalities, and, and uh, I love him here. And uh, Indianapolis, yep. is the capital of the motorsport of the world. Yep. 
Every knowledge that the tonight, especially the drag racing, is the about in ten miles in the circle. And there is the old knowledge yep. that you can search in. Yep. And maybe they tell us something, or I tell them. I don't know which way that goes. So, uh, it was also a close trip for me, so that's why I'm here. Uh, unlike Michael Balch, who had a long trip to be here, and it he's here. every mile. <laughs> Um, you, so you feel like you're, you, you're, it's, you, it's okay. you've got everything cleaned up, you're, you're, you're really ready for the weekend. Yeah. All right. And my uh, son is the hell of a rider. Yep, yep. And uh, I have a magic fingers. Never know what to happen. All right. Then, and, uh, but I, most important what they would be talking before. And then. Yes. We keep it fun. Yeah, 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 absolutely, absolutely. It's supposed to be raising. Absolutely, like, absolutely. Like a war, but, but yeah. then uh, fighting. All right. But still, it's the most important. All but right. But I know that bike is the, and I have a couple new tricks, and the, not the tricks, but then uh, modifications after the Chicago. Yep. All my competitors knows, and then we have a dual fuel system, and then, and uh, we, I have a, some changes. Come brings to the benefits that uh, system and, and, and uh, we have a better chance to make it the good pass, good numbers. All right, sounds good. And uh, keep it the parts together. That's the, also the most one of the what I like it. So you know, I've never been to Brainerd, but I've heard so much about the zoo. Yeah. Have you heard about the zoo at Brainerd? I have. I not. know the reason why is that it's it's a uh, it's a campground full mm -hmm. of racing fans. Oh, yeah. I know the and, reason uh, why it, that is the zoo. Huh? I know the reason why it's the Why is the reason why it's the zoo? That area, that Minnesota area, that moves the Scandinavian, I don't know how many million Scandinavians moves to 100 and 120 years ago. To Minnesota? All, all, yeah, that Minnesota. That right. area where is the brain of this. Right. And uh, most of the spectators are third or fourth generation Finnish or Swedish or Norwegian and uh, right. that is the reason why. And I they party quite... like crazy. Yeah, and I think that we are the very famous in there. Well, here's, uh, here's, here's something <laughs> told me about the zoo one time. And I'll have to cut some of this out or bleep it out. <laughs> said to me, he goes, uh, you, you going to Brainerd? And I'm like, this is back when Pro Stock Motorcycle was still racing there. I'm like, no, I've, I've never been to Brainerd. He's like, you've never been to Brainerd? You gotta go to Brainerd. I f six white women one weekend in Brainerd. <laughs> so you got that to look. You got that to look forward to. Keep an eye on your son. <laughs> but I looked at pictures in Brainerd, and uh, there was the little lake, and under that lake is the uh, full of the campers, and uh, and uh, yeah, and uh, yeah. yeah, and we rented an. Uh, Really nice airway, and we stay at the pit. Ah. We not the go to hold Oh, okay. In the European way, we always stay sleep at the pit, That's and we have a coaches and you know, yeah. the airways, and yeah, I never take it to hotels. And, and yeah. the first time in last year, and when we have the Europe, and I, I go to hotel, but but when I racing myself, and I never. Ever. All right, well, you are you done riding completely? You're gonna you're gonna ride one of these oh, again? Of course. Of course, of course. you are. Of course, I wanted to ride yeah. more yes. with my son. I have a chance racing with my son, with my son, and, and uh, definitely I want to make the awesome. some nice side by side passes. Awesome! Son. Look forward to it. And uh, that is the that is the like of war when I against my son. Yeah. I use my old dirty all tricks, dirty tricks. Yeah. All right, I'm very good. <laughs> This is pretty cool. Yeah. And uh, I know when we go the first time to get a starting line, and I think it's many guys are interesting. We have a lot of spectators at the starting area, and I know that any single is not to my side. All right. <laughs> but, All right. But I beat him. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, have fun. Great talking to you. Great talking to you, too. I'm glad you survived the, the crash, and uh, good luck in Brainerd. Thank you. All right.